All right, dear students, in this video, we will be doing the September 2018 exam. And first of all, the first thing is that you should bear in your mind that you have to be psychologically strong when you are dealing with the SPL exam. Because, you know, a lot of rumors and a lot of myths have created regarding this exam. You know, this is quite big exam and it will be difficult to overcome this exam. But remember one thing that this exam is a quite simple paper. All you need is a proper attention. You have done questions individually from the section A, from the section B, from the section C. And these were the small parts. And if you club all those parts, you will be getting a single paper. Nothing is different. Like, for example, you did a question from the ethics. You did the question from the corporate governance. You did the question from the environmental analysis. So if you club all those things, you will be getting a single paper which you have in the exam. So it is not a difficult paper at all. All you need is a clear attention in the exam. And I'll be telling you a few techniques in this video, along with the uh, complete question we'll be discussing. Then how you can overcome that, those things in the exam, how you can be mentally strong, how you can be strong from the mind, and be discussing all this. So first of all, strong from here, mind. So psychologically strong, mentally strong. The first thing required in the exam is. Now coming towards the other things, like first of all, you have the four hours, including reading, planning, and reflective time. This question paper is an integrated case study with one section containing a total of the 100 marks and all tasks must be completed and you do not have uh, the separate choices. All tasks contain professional skills marks which are included in the marks shown above. And you will see that uh, you will be having uh, uh, the marks allocation of the professional marks in every question. So now we are reading a question and remember one thing that I'll be telling the few techniques that you have to make sure that you are doing in the exam. My technique is based on my knowledge and experience. And there's a disclaimer, like if you have a better technique, if you have a good technique, which is effective, then you can choose your own. But what I am telling is based on my experience and obviously that's going to help you for sure. So these are the things we're going to do. Introduction. Okay, Kofold Construction Company, CFCC, is a listed construction company. Its head office is in the capital city uh, of uh, Lamdhasa, of the country of the Om Glan. Don't, don't be confused regarding the name, just um, examiners written it over there. Om Glan has two neighboring countries. It is Alfia and Beetle. The countryside in both Alfia and the Om Glan is generally flat. When you talk about the flat, that means they are not the mountain areas. In Battle, there uh, is a large range of mountains and the, uh, you know, which separates its eastern region from the rest of the country. All three countries use the same currency, that is the dollar. <coughs> so they are having, you know, the same currency, but it is different in terms of the uh, geography and the demography that one is the flat area and other one is the mountains. So the company is a CC company. It's head office in the capital city, Lamdasa of the Omgland. Omgland is a country. Omgland is having further two neighbor countries. That is Alfia and Battle. Both Alfia and Omgland is generally flat, but the Battle is actually the mountain areas. The board of the CC comprise 50% of the executive directors, 50% of the non-executive directors. Okay, chairman is Imna and the chief executive is Burton and senior non-executive director is Alex. Okay, these are the three persons. CC's core business is to provide support services such as upgrading of electricity networks and road renewals and maintenance, okay, service industry. However, it has also undertaken construction projects of increasing size and complexity. Now they have a diverse thing and they're into construction as well. Initially, CC carried out most of its major construction pro uh, projects in Omgland. Its biggest project, there was a ring road around the city of Lamdasa. And that, till now, they have done many projects. The biggest project was building the ring road in, in, the, in the capital city. CC has also started to develop a portfolio in the Alfia, uh, which is their neighbor country. The biggest development there being a road between Fee City and Tautown, which was completed in 2060. Okay, they have done 
a project in the uh, neighbor country as well, which is Alfia. <coughs> Sorry. To date, CC has not carried out any construction projects in the Beetle, which is the other neighbor country. However, an opportunity has arisen for CC to tender for construction for a major road in Beetle, which was the biggest project which CC has taken to date. The last project they did, the biggest project was in their own capital city and they did some projects in the Alfia. Now they are having an opportunity in the Beetle and you know that is the biggest opportunity that is the largest project they have ever done and obviously in the exam you need to evaluate that somehow. The following exhibits now this is the main thing that because you have the integrated paper because you have the combined or the amalgamated paper you are having different exhibits and each exhibit contains the different data and you have to collect the data and put into your required requirements. So you have the six exhibit, exhibit one, exhibit two, exhibit three, exhibit four, exhibit five, exhibit six. Now remember one thing that the SBL exam, you know, like this, I can say this for, you know, a greater confidence that when you are having the SBL exam, you will be having almost 80% of the data, which you have to just copy and paste. I'm not exaggerating it. Like for example, if there is a pastel in the exam, you know pastel, you know political, you know economic, you know legal. All you need to do is to pick up the data and put in the model. For example, if you are having the SFA model, suitability, feasibility, acceptability, you know what is suitability. You know what is feasibility, you know what is acceptability. All you need is to extract the data from the case study and you put it over there. You are having a BCG matrix. What you, you, know, you know the four options, okay? And what you can do is simply pick up the data from the case study and plot in the relevant headings. So the thing is that when you see, when you see the summaries of the models, you will be having like pastel, port, and diamond. Those models are easy. All you need to do is to plan up your, is plan up your case study. If you are good in that, you managing in your case, managing your case study, Believe me, you will be doing the exam in the required time and you will be finishing up all the things very good. So you have the six exhibits. The exhibit one contains extract from the most recent annual report. Okay, so this is annual report and I'm just writing it in big so that I can guess it. Exhibit two is a press release of the announcement of the new road. So this is the press release. Number three is the forecast revenue for the construction of the new road. Okay, this is the forecast. Okay, these are the numbers, data. Exhibit four is outline contents of the project initiation doc document uh, that is from the project management and a summary of the operational issues. Okay, this is project management. Exhibit five is a transcript of the emergency meeting. So this is meeting. Exhibit six is report and interview. And so this is the interview. So now you have the annual report, you have the press release, you have the forecast, you have the project initiation document, you have the meeting and you have the interview. These are the six exhibit you're having, which contains the data, which contains the knowledge you have to pick up and plot into your relevant case study. So now you are dealing with one by one of the requirement. First of all, I'll be reading the full question paper and then we'll be coming how to write it in the exam. The case requirements are as follows and you will be told which role you are taking in each task. Okay, you are Alex Larson and now in this task you are the Alex which is the non-executive director, senior non-executive director. CC has been invited to the tender for the contract of the new road in the Beetle. Yeah, you heard that they have the opportunity. Now they have been invited to put their tender in as the preferred partner of the Beatles, gov Beatles government. The government have invited them. CC's finance team has drawn a financial forecast for the project. That means the cost and the revenues. However, you have doubts about the contract and you want it to be discussed thoroughly at the CC's next board meeting. And you are particularly concerned with whether CC will be able to fulfill the criteria CC is stated by the Beatles Transport Minister. Now the government of the Beat, Beatle has placed some criteria regarding the construction of the new road. And obviously 
uh, they have to comply with that in order to get the contract in order to get their tender in. so they have they have the concerns and the requirement is prepare the briefing paper now just briefing paper you will be writing the briefing paper and then you will be giving the heading and then you will give the introduction and then you will this is the introduction and you will be starting writing the thing in it <coughs> analyze the financial and non financial issues which will affect the finance final decision of whether to accept the contract now this is the thing which you have been asked like for example if the examiner has said that evaluate this project then obviously you need to do see the suitability feasibility acceptability now they have said you the relevant thing that you have to look at the financial and the non financial issues of whether to accept the contract to build the road in the beta so we'll be discussing the financial issues and the non financial issues a recommendation is not required professional skills marks are available for demonstrating skills and identifying information which is relevant to the decision four marks 18 marks makes 22 discusses the difficulties cc may face in fulfilling the criteria stated by the desmond or tiano the transport minister now they have mentioned something regarding the criteria to take the contract of the beetle construction of the road what difficulties cc may face in order to meet those covenants conditions professional marks available again two marks so this two requirement you know is for 32 marks that means you have to write all the data which you have in the exam in the case study and which and further data which you can relate supposing the things up which are mentioned in the case study so 32 marks okay now uh, remember the one requirement remember that now you have this you should have this thing in your mind that when you are reading the case study you have to look at the financial data you have to look at non financial data financial issues the non financial issues okay and then you have to look at the difficulties the issues the cc may face in order to comply with the conditions which is placed by the criteria placed by the government beetles government okay then cc has been awarded the contract now the contract has been awarded cc has been awarded the contract to build the road in the beetle it is now january 2x2 and planning for the project has started you are jo isa the project manager okay the person who is responsible for doing the project is a project manager for the construction of the road in the battle you have just been appointed project manager as the original project manager left suddenly one month ago okay so that means you have selected opted for this post suddenly out of nowhere and obviously uh, the previous manager has you know uh, has gone so there should be some work he has done oliver the junior member of the project team began to draft the project initiation document pid during the time when no one was acting as a project manager and if you remember your project management chapter you know the pid is a document where you used to write all the things regarding the project the purpose of the project the scope of the project the objectives of the project the assumptions uh, the constraints the issues the project personnel the structure you, you you used to write all those things in it he has prepared you for the outline contents of the project initiation document he has done some work as i said and the summary of the section is on operational issues that will be provided to you in the exhibit requirement prepare a memo and now you have to special skills memo okay it is it starts from two and then you have the from then you have the subject then you have the date okay or you can write the date first then subject and then you will be writing the intro lines and then you will be starting your answer so this is four marks again for this thing prepare a memo address to the oliver okay so two 
you are a project manager, okay? And two is to Oliver, from is Joe Isa, and subject we have to see. Prepare a memo address which critically evaluates the outline contents and the summary of the operational issues in the project nation document which he has prepared and recommend improvements. So the subject is assessment and improvement in the PIT. And then you will write the date and you just write this thing, XXX, okay. So this is, now you will be writing the introductory lines that, okay, so, so look, he has done some work. Now, like for example, if you are working in an office and someone junior has done some work and you are actually reviewing their work, assessing their work, and you know, obviously there will be some good work and there will be some bad work, there will be some omissions, you need to put in something over there. So, but you have to tell them, you have to encourage them. Uh, if this is a professional way, like for example, if someone junior is coming to you and he has done some work and you will be, you will be taking the papers from him. I was saying, okay, you have done this work. Okay, very good. Uh, I'm glad to see that you have done some work. So you'll be writing those lines that I am, like this is my wording. You can write it in your own. I'm glad to see the work done by you in the absence of the project manager. You have outlined some areas relating to the project. And I do consider it very helpful I'm recommending you further areas which should be part of the PID alongside with your working. So now this is a professional way. You have encouraged him that the, you have done the work and it is a good work, but you need to put, on, put in these things over there. So, but you should not start, you know, I have assessed your work and this is not right at all. You have done nothing. So you should not write these things, okay? Unless an until examiner requires you <coughs> to criticize the work. When we are criticizing the work, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> we can use such word, you know, we have, I have assessed your workings, although you did a work, but that is not appropriate. When you're criticizing, you can, you know, write these words, but not harsh, not rude. So this will be, you know, and you will be bringing the PID project initiation document in your mind, the knowledge based area, which you have learned that there should be objective, there should be scope, there should be assumptions, there should be regarding the stakeholders. You will be bringing all those things in your mind when you are writing the answers. So this is, you know, the second part. Now the third, it is now July 2 x 2 three months after CC began construction of the new road in the beta. The first one, when you were submitting the tender, the second one, you have got the tender, the third one, the work has started. You are passing, now the person has changed, a consultant employed by the CC's board. You have just left emergency meeting regarding the incident at the construction site and are responding to the request made by the CC's chairman and Emina at the end of the meeting. Prepare a confidential memo, okay? Now you are preparing a memo again, or when you're preparing a memo uh, in the previous page, you are also preparing a memo. And then two from subject data, and you will be writing the same things over here as well. So a memo for Imina, and now the person has changed. So two from has changed and the subject has changed as well. The chairman of the CC with discusses the ethical and reputational concerns rate at the meeting, ethical and professional. Now, 
I told you that when you are doing the requirement number one, you have to keep the financial issues, non-financial issues, and the limitations and the problem they have, may have in fulfilling the requirement in your mind. The re requirement number two was related to the project initiation document, which you have the spe specific exhibit. The requirement number three is you have to keep the ethical and reputational issues in your mind when you are reading the case study. So ethical and reputational. Ethical and reputational issues in your mind. Okay, fine. So a summary for CC's board to review assessing the control weaknesses discussed at the emergency meeting, stating for each control weakness is consequence, that means the impact and recommendation for the improvements. Now you are preparing a summary. And summary is something which is short. You have to write the control weakness, their impact, and then you have to give the recommendation. So if you are done with your F8, obviously you are. You used to make the management letter, and there were three columns in that. The first one was related to the weakness. The second one was related to the consequence or the impact. And the third one was the recommendation. So now here you will be doing the same thing. You will be writing the issue and the consequence and the recommendation. And this is how you're gonna prepare the summary. And this is for 14 marks. A briefing paper for CCs, again, briefing paper, you know, there is no specific, uh, uh, format of briefing paper, you should just give the heading and start with the introduction. A briefing paper of the CC's next board meeting, advising the board the advantage in establishing a risk committee. Now this is, you know, first of all, you have to bring the risk committee in your mind, that the risk committee is the committee of the board. Okay, this is a board committee, a type of board committee, which deals with the risk management, which have EDs as well as NEDs. It works separates from the audit committee because audit committee is mainly concerned with the integrity of financial reporting and integrity of the external auditing. And these are mainly concerned regarding the risk management. Okay. When the company, when the, when the company have the risk management committee, the risk management process will be effective. They will be timely identifying their risk. They have a proper risk strategy. First of all, you have to bring that particular topic in your mind. Then you have to tell them the advantage. So you should not start directly by writing, okay, this is the benefit, you know, like you will be writing the, the core of the corporate governance requires <coughs> the companies, because this is a listed company, the, the listed companies to have the risk committee, risk committee is a board committee, which consisted of EDs and the NEDs, and they deal with the risk management, and following are the benefits of having a risk committee to the CC, then you will be writing those things. So this was, and this was for the 40 marks, and now we are moving towards uh, another thing. It is now October 20X2, six months after CC began construction. You are Pat saying a consultant employed by CC. Burton, CC chief executive has asked you to help him prepare the next board meeting, which will discuss investment in big analytics and offering long-term infrastructure management, big data. And uh, that means, you know, if you're aware of the big data, collecting the data and using in the business for, you know, better operations, better forecasting, better care. Prepare two presentation slides. And you know the PPTs, when you are making the PPTs, you know that you have this slide of the PowerPoint. And the PowerPoint slide, first of all, gives you this thing, which is you know the title of the slide. And then it gives you contents. If you have seen it, obviously you have seen it. So you write the contents over here. So title and the contents. And then if you want to describe those things, then you have the summary notes under the slide. So you have to prepare two slides. So just you will be making these two things in the exam. And the first thing is the big data analytics, you will be giving this title. And the second is uh, evaluates the possible opportunity to take long-term infrastructure management. So infrastructure management. And this is uh, here you will be writing the contents and here you will be having the summary notes. 
Okay, so these are the four requirements and now you will be having the exhibits. Okay, this is the exhibit number one. Then you have the exhibit number two. Now we'll be start reading these exhibits. And remember, now you have four requirements, okay? Four requirements. The first one was related to the financial issues. Then you have the non-financial issues. Then you have the limitations. <coughs> the problem, the difficulties you may face in complying with the requirements. The second thing was related to the PID. And the third is related to the ethical and reputational methods. And then you have the uh, weaknesses. And then you have the advantages of having the risk committee. In the fourth requirement, you will be having uh, the big data. So this is the exhibit number one, and we will start reading it. Okay, then you, you, have, the, you have the one, two, three, four requirements. So when you have the data related to one, just write one over there so that you may pick it directly when you are writing your answer. Okay, one, two, three, and four. CC's results have shown increased profitability and stronger cash flows. Okay. Huh. The quality and the value of the new projects have been enhanced by more focus approach for to tendering. We avoided speculative projects and concentrated on longer projects in high margin, advantageous contract terms. Now this is their history. They they are having the the good projects. We believe that these are the projects which can unlock new opportunities for the CC. As a result, I'm delighted to announce first increase in the dividend for the three years. Now, this is related to the CC in general. This is a general analysis. This is not related to the beetle, okay? We are required to assess the financial issues and the non-financial issues in the beetle. This is a general thing that this is a profitable company. The results reflect the successful completion of the ring route linking the main roads of the Lambda, which they did in the uh, capital city. The 10 billion earning from this, this was a profitable project. 10 million, 10 billion, sorry. Uh, CC's biggest ever construction project has shown ability to expand the scope and the size of the project which it undertakes. This is their history. CC's stakeholder first program aiming to enhance our relationship with our key stakeholders has also delivered the benefits. Now, they have something said regarding their stakeholders. Stakeholders first program means they give, stakeholder first program means they are giving consideration to the stakeholder that the stakeholder comes first. They are not concerned about the profit. First of all, they see the stakeholders. Now, this can be something related to the ethics. Okay, so we'll just write three and ethics over here. We look forward to the prospect of building a strong relationship with the government of the OM GLAN. We also continue to engage with communicators affected by our work. We are mindful of the economic benefits which improve infrastructure will bring, but also want to address concerns about the impacts on the environment. Now, again, this is related to the three, which is ethics. Okay, that they have the concerns regarding the environment. Looking forward, the development over the next two years, our site smart initiative will provide our project management in all aspects. So now this is related to the project management, just write two over here. Okay. So this is related to the project management. It will looking forward the development over the next two years, our site smart initiative will improve our project management. It will result in more effective deployment of the business resources reducing wasted time, enhancing our competitiveness by reducing project lead times. So this site, site smart will give them all the information and that will result in particular benefits, okay? So that means they are not having, that means they are not having currently anything like that. So they are looking forward. They do not have that, okay? So they do not have that. So this, this can be the issue which you can relate to the one. They do not have that. We also see the effective use of the big data as an improvement, important goal. Now this is related to the four. We shall looking to upgrade system to take full advantage of it. I'm delighted also to report our operations in Alfia are showing profit for the first time in four years. 
Elfia, that was their neighbor country. First time in their four years, profit for first time in four years, that means in previous th previous three years, they were, ha they were in the losses. This can be related to the one as well because we have to look at the non-financial issues in the beetle. So this can be something like that. So we can write in the, in the financial as well. The main factor depressing results in Alfia continues to losses from the contract for the construction of the road between P city and Ta town. The board has reflected hard on the issues which arose the project. We believe that lessons we have learned and positively influencing our system and work practices. They, they were in the losses and it will demonstrate it on the future projects. So future projects now, but the future project is the project which we are going to do, which is Beetle. That is why I said we have, we can write these lines over there. Then you have extract from the risk report, board responsibility. The board formally reviews major risk as part of the regular part of its agenda and ultimately responsible for the risk management. Risk management is incorporated with operational system and in the daily activities of the CC. Audit committee responsibilities. CC as an audit committee comprised entirely of the independent non-executive directors in line with the internal, internal governance best practice. All committee members have accountancy or finance qualifications. The committee meet every three months. So all committee members have accountancy or finance qualification. That means they are mainly concerned regarding mainly concerned regarding integrity of financial reporting. So remember, we were asked to provide the benefits of the risk committee. So this can be relevant over there that the currently their audit committee, which is dealing with the risk management as well. They are just focusing on the financial reporting because their qualification is that regarding that. So the risk committee can help in those ways. The committee meets every three months. It reports to the board on significant issues concerning in relation to the financial statements, assessment on external audit process. As I said, that the audit committee's objective is the integrity of the financial reporting and integrity of external auditing. The committee reviews and approves the role and mandate of the internal audit and improves the annual internal audit plan and monitors and reviews the effectiveness of work and accounting systems. The committee has a general responsibility for promoting sound risk management, general policy. You look, they have the general policy for the risk management. They do not have the specific policy. They do not have the specific working. Okay, so this can be related to the working number three and the committee is assisted by its work at risk management and the health and safety manager. <coughs> Specific risk. Now you have these risks, which is related to again the three. CC is responsible for minimizing the risk of hazards and dangers to employees and others arising from its operations. The health and safety manager principal responsibilities include maintaining health and safety documentation organizing training and accreditation for staff, reviewing health and safety reports and monitoring compliance in conjunction with internal audit. CC is obliged to report $300 fine is paid as a result of injuries to employees arising from the failures to remedy dangerous conditions on site. The health and safety manager has a recommendation for enhanced safety site procedures, which will be implemented on the current and the future contracts. So in the previous history is that they were having the fines on the unhealthy and unsafe environment and they were fined on that. They were not having the proper controls. Now they are looking forward for the further projects. CC requires a team of the successful bids and projects to deliver value for the shareholders. It cannot commit to too many bids nor accept projects which offer insufficient returns. The board is conceding specific minimum profit margin of 8% for more projects. So their target profit, this is their target profit and the target profit is 8%. So this can be used in the requirement number one when we are assessing the financial issues of the beetle. So their target profit is 8%. Any failure of the projects to meet time, budget and quality requirement represent a fundamental threat to the CC business. Such failure can arise unrealistic plans, failure to access pro progress properly and the lack of effective reporting. And I said you right now they are not having that you know, reporting, uh, uh, monitoring software because they're looking for it. Site smart, they do not have right now. Okay, so this is, this can be related to the one as well. CC site smart initiative will be focused on improving. They're looking for it, but they do not have right now. 
CC's sustainability strategy is designed to deliver the environmental outcome which society demands. That means they are into environment, which is related to the ethics. Okay, again, the three. CC enhanced this program for reducing uh, carbon emissions. CC is fo focusing on reduction of the energy and fuel consumption. CC also aims to minimize the disruption to communities, communities and natural environment caused by its activities. So this is their agenda. They are looking to reduce environmental footprint. It consults with community representatives and other interested party to address these issues. Failure to maintain liquidity and meet loan repayment and covenant requirement will jeopardize CC's ability to win new contracts. This is related to the financing, okay, which can be related to the one. CC aims to maintain a capital structure with balance of equity and debt and ensure liquidity and working capital requirements are met. The board is satisfied that undrawn bank facilities will be sufficient to meet continuing needs. Okay, uh, they have the facilities, which is the overdraft, overdrawn, and the loan financing. They have the, you know, which is related to one, I have already written that. The board is also confident that loans are due for repayment in the next three years and can be replaced by equivalent funding if required. Now they have already taken up the loan and for further loan, they have to repay the previous loans. So this is related to again requirement number one. CC's board is committed for safeguarding against the risk of fraud, bribery and corruption, ensuring a commitment to honesty and avoid false claims and misleading statements. CC's code of conduct, and this is related to their social responsibility. Okay, which is again related to the ethics. And okay, CC's code of conduct, regular ethics training and designed to mean stakeholder trust in the company's integrity and avoid penalties. Now this was related to the ethics. Okay, fine, now we are moving further. Exhibit number two, press release of the announcement, announcing new, re new road between Gamweil and La Ka Lake Ita. Okay, sorry, sorry my pronunciation, it was a difficult one. A 20 billion new, 20 billion new road scheme between Gamweil and Lake will transform the economy of the Beatles Eastern. Now this is related to the Beatle, okay? So 20 billion, this is the revenue probably. An average journey time through the, cutting the average journey time through the Isnadi mountains by almost half. They are building up the roads in the mountains, okay? And I told you that previously this company is not having any experience in the mountain area. They were operating in the flat areas. So this can be related to the one inexperience of mountain area. This can write in the non-financial issue, okay? Minister of Transport, Otiano. Now this is was related to the, you know, part number, part one, and which is, you know, I think B or C requirement. And let me just see it. It was 1B, yeah, difficulties, yeah, 1B. Okay, I am pleased to, I am pleased at last to be able to confirm the scheme which will help enhance the Eastern economic development. This region has been held back by the poor roads. Okay, there were no roads over there. Through Isnardi mountains, flooding during the wet season has often caused traffic delays that means they're already having the already having the traffic flow over there so building the road is difficult task because you have to you know uh, provide them the facility as well so there's there will be a traffic flow existing existing traffic flow and sometimes the road is impossible the new road will resolve these problems we have identified a preferred partner, which we have invited to submit a detailed tender for the contract to construct the road. At the moment, their identity is confidential, but we hope to announce shortly who it is. I can confirm that they are from outside Beaton. They are talking about CC. Low price will be an important criterion when choosing the contractor. So the first criteria the government has placed 
is the cost. So when we will be discussing the difficulties in fulfilling the criteria, the first thing is the cost. Low price will be an important criterion. We shall also want the contractor to carry out the work efficiently. Now there is something related to the performance. Okay, with timetable being as short as possible, the third thing is the time. To ensure the disruption during construction will be kept to a minimum, that means they want a flow of the traffic as well. Okay, too many conditions. Okay, the government will guarantee any debt finance. Uh, okay, this is a good thing. This is a little bit of finance. We appreciate that the concerns expect about the impact on some villages in the mountains and the damage to the habitats on the number of the species in the wildlife, environmental impact, okay? So non-financial impact. Uh, one, and here, yes, environment. You have to keep your environmental damage as low as possible. We shall expect a chosen contractor to limit environmental footprint while it constructs the road. It will be required to base its construction plans on mitigating the environmental impact. When completed, we are certain a new road will give a boost to our country's economy and be a lasting achievement of this government. Okay, fine, because they're concerned about this. Okay. So, yeah. Now, do you have the forecast? It is assumed the construction will begin in May to Rex 2 and be completed in December to Rex 5. Okay, this is more than three year project, to Rex 2, to Rex 3, to Rex 4, to Rex 5, more than three years, yeah. So they will be having different payments. Progress payments for Beetle Gum as scheduled as follows 30th April to X3, 30th April to X4, 20th February, and 31st December to X5 by the completion of the project. 20%, 25%, 20%, 35%. Now, this is something which is related to point number one financial issue. Look, they are not giving you the payment directly. After the first year, by the end of the first year, they will be paying you 20%. By the end of the second year, they'll be paying you 25%. Then third, in the third year, they'll be giving you 20%. Final payment, 35% will be received by the completion of the project. That means company need, CC needs significant working capital. They need significant finance to fund the project. Because obviously, they will not be given up they will not be given up the straight payment. It is coming in the three more than three years. So significant finance to fund the project. That means it is difficult. Okay, this is a financial issue. Now the revenue which will be coming from the whole project is 21,000. 21,000 million. Okay, that is 21 billion. Yeah. And the project cost is in 2x2, 2x3, 2x4, 2x5. This is a road services, tunnel, bridges and passes, crossing and signage, road remediation and stabilization, drainage, lighting. Okay, this, there are so many things they, they have to do. And the total cost of the project is 19,000. So if you compare the cost with the revenue, it gives you the profit of 2,000 million, that is 2 billion. Okay, and 2 billion. Okay, now on the previous page, you were having their target profit was 8%. Okay, now you can just simply compare it. What you are getting is 2,000 and simply calculate it 2,000 divide by 21,000 multiply by 100. You can simply calculate it by using the calculator. So 2000 divided by 21,000 into 100. It gives you 9.5%. Okay, 9.5% is more than 8%. So that means if these are the reasonable cash flows, if these are the best estimations, then the project is the project is viable because that gives them more than 
what they expect to that it was minimum more than eight percent so they are getting 9.5 percent the biggest project they did in terms of the revenue in the past that was 10 billion now this is the recent project is 21 billion that means it will enhance the company's profile as well that previously they did a project of 10 billion now they are doing a project of the 20 billion and it will give the strategic fit to the company okay now uh, exhibit number four online contents of the project niche in documents and the summary and this is what this was related to the requirement number two PID okay the outline contents of the PID document introduction background business case financial budget and funding time and cost constant constraint risk personal and responsibilities project sponsor and project manager these are the things which this this is the work which have been done by that person I don't remember Olive something and you need to tell him what is missing you were actually doing the assessment and I tell I told you that first of all you have to encourage him and then you will be telling him that these are the things which should be mentioned in the project initiation document and which I told you that means the purpose objective and stakeholders and the assumptions of the cash flows and all those things summary of the operational issues cost and time constraint for the stage of the construction stage one stage two stage three stage four and then you have the time figure main risks health and safety risk okay this is the risk assessment use of health and safety manual recommendation which is staff training on-site procedures uh, of handling dangerous substances inspection by health and safety manager supply chain competitive tethering con uh, contract showing target requirements procedure for ch changing terms program for disposal of the waste okay these are the things and then you have the exhibit number five transcript of an emergency meeting on 20th july at head office following protests against construction of the new road in the beetle now if you remember so this is related to the three present burton is the chief executive imina is the chairman allen is the risk manager pat singh is the consultant the meeting began at 10 a.m burton opened the meeting by playing the following clip from beatles news program about the break-in from earlier that morning there was a news and they played that news and now there were two protesters were seriously injured last night after they broke into one of the construction sites for the new road through the Isnaridi mountains. So they entered into the construction area. Why they entered? Probably when you enter into an area which was, you know, which you should not enter. So there are signs that, okay, do not enter construction ahead, slow down. And this stops you with the barriers so that you should not, should not enter into the construction area. This is what you know we see now in the normal days. The break-in is an escalation of the recent protests against the new road. Protesters have been unhappy that they have not been able to meet with Burden. CC chief executive or reporter Iris is outside the site. Or reporter Iris is outside the site. Iris, what can you tell about the break-in and the injuries to the protesters? Okay, fine. Reporter, it appears that a number of protesters created a diversion outside this entrance. While the two security staff on site investigated other protesters broke in elsewhere, okay, two, two security staff, this whole mountain, and there are two security staff, lack of staff. Because you know uh, why I'm telling you this? is because we have to tell them the weaknesses their impact and the recommendation so they were low staff this is the weakness okay on that occasion the security staff spotted the protesters and prevented access this time however two protesters got in it seems that one collided with a van driven by an employee other protester was apprehended by another cc employee and was subsequently taken away by the police Okay, fine. No representative from the CC had made any comment about the last night event and we have not been able to speak with any of the employees involved. 
However, as we led away, the protester who was arrested shouted out about the protester injured by the van that ran over him. The van deliberately went straight for him and ran him over. Oh, that's bad. Okay, now this is a meeting. I thought that showing the news report was the best way to brief you on what happened, although Alan has found out more since. Alan. I have spoken to our employees and staff from the Shonen Security, the security firm in the battle which we use. It seems that they both went to deal with the protesters at the main entrance. Were there only two security staff on the side? Yes, the contract only stated the security should be manned at all times. So this is what I told. The news report mentioned an attempted break in the last week. We were, we were we told about it. The security staff said they would report it to their managers, but no one at Shulin Security was contacted. So no communication with the security agency. There was a, this type of event previously, but no one reported. So lack of communication. What more do we know about what happened once the protester got in? The protester who was injured ran across until service road and van collided with him. Should the area have been lit a uh, little bit better? Apparently, lightning was one of the things picked up by Lee Kurata, or health and safety manager, when he visited site two months ago. Staff said that lighting was going to be fixed before internal audit visit. Okay, so two months ago. Why isn't Lee here? Lee is off sick and for last six weeks, so for the two months, the, the security manager is not there. No security manager. Health and safety manager, sorry. <clears throat> we have, okay, we, we, uh, okay, we all have to get a temporary replacement. It's now fill a gap. Okay. D, did Lee submit his report on the Offside before he went sick. I did receive it, but points were generally minor. We are so much else to discuss at the board meeting. What more we do about the protester? Okay, there were no, there was a light issue as well. So these are the things which we will be writing in the summary, the weaknesses. I haven't spoken to the van driver yet, but I have spoken to the security guard who chased the protester. He didn't see the collision after the, uh, only the aftermath. How about the protester who claimed to have seen his friend being run over? I'm not sure whether he would have been able to see clearly what happened as the lighting was so poor. I have discussed this thing. He would have also fallen over a patch of oil. Side was not cleaned. This is why the security guard was able to catch with him. You told me earlier, Burton, that our lawyers have advised us not to make any statement that we are responsible and the police and health and safety authorities we are looking. So they're, they're actually the thing. That's all correct. Of course, we shouldn't admit to any responsibility for the injuries, the chief executive said. I'll be flying out to the Beetle this afternoon when I got there. I, I will issue a statement to the press that we regret the injuries, but protesters who trespass on building sites have themselves to blame. So the, the, you know, the lawyer said not to make any statement. He said, I'll be making the press statement and blaming them. We will ensure the sites teared up, lights fully on, false claims. I will speak on the staff there and make sure they will be saying the same thing. So they will be telling the staff to lie. They will get a hardship bonus because of the, all the threat they had last night. And I'm fed up with these protesters and they, we're stopping this contract. You know, they are building a site which they may face the, you know, uh, opposition. So by making this statement, they will be having too much difficulties. So burden, and then leave the meeting and continue a private conversation. I'm worried about the burden will say and do. He's in the uh, beetle and his attitude on the issues we have discussed. Can you send me a memo before burden goes on the battle saying, setting or into uh, setting our views you can see you can be as frank as you like i shall keep the memo confidential i am also uh, i'm also not happy generally how risk has been managed and controls have been operating i would like to draft me a summary of the control weakness and how they should be uh, remedied i want the board to see quickly and clearly what the problems and we must do 
Also, the companies have separate auditors committees rather than a single audit committee. Please can you prepare briefing papers and this is for the requirement number three. And then you have the big data. CC will be at the front of the construction sector in the home gland using the big data to gain strategic advantage according to Chief Executive Burton. You must make full use of all the information available on the traffic volumes and road conditions to run the operations efficiently. Mr. Weather wishes CC to develop big data capabilities along with current SMART initiative. They believe that enhanced big data capabilities will help CC to gain road infrastructure. Previously, the governments of Ohm Gland, Alpha, and Beta have managed their countries, road network themselves, only com a company like CC for specific maintenance. Now, however, the governments are looking at the subcontract for the management of their road network, will plan maintenance uh, as well as carrying it out. Now they need the information because, you know, previously the government were doing the, all the work themselves. Now they are actually outsourcing it to the different companies. So they need to be updated regarding that. They should have all the information, which road is now, you know, having the problem, which road is having the traffic issues, which road is having uh, the fix, uh, which road is about to be fixed and which road is, is should be fixed. So they should have all the information regarding the com regarding that uh, the country they are operating in. Because obviously when the government will be announcing the project, they should be well aware of, uh, of all the roads which they have already analyzed. Who will plan maintenance? The private sector partners will have ongoing responsibilities such as operating traffic control and signing systems. Their income will be in the form of the fees paid by the government. Uh, Mr. Weather showed that CC will be able to provide each government what each government wants. CC will provide an integrated package of construction and support services that no competitors can match. We shall be partner of choice. So now they, when they will be having all the information, they can use it in the existing project. They can use it for the taking the competitive advantage. They can use it for gaining the future project they can use to build up their company and all the things. So this was the question, end of the question paper, thank God. And I've explained you all the issues uh, how to write in the exam.